Grand Junction is a world-class destination. We're authentic in how we've grown. We haven't tried to chase something that's inauthentic to us. The things I like the most about Grand Junction in general are the blend between mountains and desert. We can do all sorts of activities year-round. You never get bored here. It has all the benefits of some of these growing, vibrant communities, but without the traffic, without the smog, with a greater quality of life, with more connectedness with our community and with our families. There's something for the bikers, hikers, campers, fly fishers. I mean, if a business is thinking about Grand Junction, telling your employees that all of that's available just makes it that much more interesting and, and fun to think about moving here. We often live to work, not work to live. And so it's very different here in our community. As Grand Junction has grown and developed, we've got a lot of people coming in, different demographics, different backgrounds, different influences, and they're seeing opportunity in Grand Junction. And businesses, as a result, are growing out of that. Most of the people who have expressed interest in this from an investment standpoint that are regional investors are coming to it from the Opportunity Zone standpoint. There's a lot of interest with Opportunity Zone here. The Opportunity Zone was really designed to spur economic development and job creation in what they call economically distressed areas. They allow for tax breaks if you invest in an Opportunity Zone. My name is Stephanie Copeland. I'm the managing partner of a real estate investment firm by the name of Four Points Funding, and we invest across the state of Colorado. The city had already formed a strategy to really unlock its own potential. And Las Colonias was one of the early developments that the city supported in revamping the riverfront. The Eddy Grand Junction is two elements that we built. We have apartments that we just built last year. They sit on the riverfront. And then on the other part of our site, we have a nice camping site to be near outdoor amenity and recreation, and most importantly, the river. I'm Thaddeus Schrader, and together with my wife, Sarah, we own Bonsai Design. We're a design build firm, and we work in the aerial adventure industry. We build all kinds of towers, zip lines, just anything to get people up and into nature. We work all over the U.S., Canada, Mexico, a little bit internationally. Here we are 15 years later and we're going strong and we're the anchor tenant at the Las Colonias Park. My name is Jen Taylor. I am the owner and founder of El Jet's Cantina and Sky Outpost. It's a place to gather on the riverfront. The mission is to bridge, create, and celebrate culture, community, and confluence. And we're right on the Colorado River. We're right on the riverfront hard surface trail that connects right up to world-class single track trail right out of downtown Grand Junction. So the Grand Junction Economic Partnership, we call it GJEP, is a 501c3 nonprofit, and we act as an economic development agency for the entire Grand Junction area. And our focus is business recruitment into the area, as well as business expansion. When towns found that Bonsai was looking around for a new home, we started getting shopped by other cities. There was rumor of Bonsai, one of our near and dear homegrown businesses, being recruited out of our community. So we really, we started discussion with Bonsai Design about how do we keep you here? GJEP and the city were like, hey, what? how come you guys are thinking about leaving? And we're like, well, you know, we really want to be around a town where people are thinking about the outdoors and how to make access to the outdoors and how do we get people interested in being connected to the region around them. You know, it doesn't seem like that that's a really big push here. All of these towns in Colorado, the river is the thing that everybody flocks to. They build their little downtowns, they put a little play park down there, and it's just thriving and vibrant. People want to be around the water. And at that time, we didn't have a lot of, or much of any public access, and they were really surprised to hear that that was our impression. They're like, well, what would you do? And we said, we would love to develop the riverfront, just design a whole business park down by the water. And they just kept listening. Well, Las Colonias has been kind of evolving plan over the years. It's a nearly 146 acres, so it's quite expansive. Before long, I was sitting down at a table with Greg Caton and, and Trent Prawl and had these sketches of, of what we would do if we could. And they were like, we're in, we like this idea. And they figured out a way to develop a plan where we would bring businesses in and invite people to come move their companies to Grand Junction. And by moving those businesses into a very small portion of the business park, it would then pay for the whole development of what is now Las Colonias. This just gives you access to what makes this part of the state so beautiful. 
From a business perspective though, the city has proven to be a wonderful supporter of small business. GGEP does an absolutely amazing job finding all kinds of state incentives and ways to really plug into the community and the business community itself is very welcoming. Las Colonias has done a really good job of providing more opportunities for the Grand Junction area to the point where now we have a beautiful amphitheater down there, we have great open space, and we have a 15-acre business park down there that is shovel-ready for businesses to come in and invest there. That makes it very lucrative for a business. This is what people sign up for when they move to Colorado. It's friendly style of living, it's access to the outdoors, it's affordability. One of the reasons why this is a great place to move a business, build a business, raise a family, is because we've got a really vibrant university here. We're one of the only universities in the country that provides things all the way down to the technical and community college level, all the way up through graduate programming. And so what that means is we have the ability to really support business in a whole variety of ways. There's just a lot of things going well for Grand Junction, and we used to talk about this best kept secret, and that is no longer the case. People are very interested in what's going on in Mesa County, and we're here to help. We're ready to work with you. And that's what I think Grand Junction has in spades, a triangulation of private, public, and nonprofit that work together to really create a foundation for a community to propagate good business, smart business, and a sustainable business for a community that really cares and thrives as a result. The sand is shifting in this valley and it's an incredible time to be here. Come on and join us.